One of the problems with MVC is so-called Massive View Controller. One solution? Choose different architecture. This is about MVP. So one of the things that MVP can do for us is more loosely couple our view and the model. One way of doing that is to create an interface between what's called here the presenter and the view. So this architecture is going to look slightly different in nature than the MVC that many people are used to. So the idea of this is just going to create a very simple table and also there's a button on here and then we can go to a detail screen. So it's a very, very simple application just to describe the MVP architecture in a very simple form. So we're creating this programmatically. So here on the screen, we set up the window scene and the window. This is normal stuff. And we set up a root navigation controller, which is just the main navigation controller that everything's situated in. So we set up a container, which is this dependency factory, and we can initialize it with some dependencies. And a network class would be an excellent thing to put in there. But this particular implementation doesn't have any dependencies. So I've just used that basic initializer. We have the coordinator, which is making the initial coordinator from that dependency factory, which in this case is going to be the menu view controller. And then we call start on the coordinator and feed in that root navigation controller, which is important because we might have an implementation where we have multiple navigation controllers. So you need to keep a reference to the one that you want to keep the reference to. And we set it as root control view controller, which is all fine. So the dependency factory, this is where we're creating, say, that initial view controller. So view controller is just a normal view controller class. We'll look at the details of that in a minute. The presenter needs to know about the coordinator and know about the view controller. And the issue is the view controller also needs to know about the presenter. So that's where this extra function comes from that we're calling and feeding in a link to the presenter. And then we return that view controller. So similarly, we have one of these, the detail view controller. And here we're injecting the dependency. Nothing particularly exciting is going on here. The initial coordinator is just a project coordinator, which brings me on to the coordinator. So it has to conform to these protocols. An abstract coordinator manages its children. This is not used in this particular project, but it could be, so it's good to have it in there. Then we've got a root coordinator, which is just starting the process off with our chosen UI navigation controller, which we spoke about because some projects might have multiple UI navigation controllers, but our root coordinator only deals with one. And our project coordinator itself, what's it doing? Well, it asks the factory to make the view controller. So here we're making the initial view controller. We're setting the navigation controller and we're pushing our view controller onto the stack. So this is kind of managing the navigation flow, if you like. So it's managing what's going on. The stuff with ch children there, um, not dealing with that within this particular project. I've just got it in there because it's a nice reusable class I'm using in a number of projects. So the menu view controller itself. So this is just taking UI table view and we have a reference to our presenter. Load view is just to set up that initial view. This is done programmatically and we're pretty much just setting up a table view as might be expected. However, I have an example button which is in the red part just above the table view and I want to access the action in the presenter. So I do that by exposing the presenter while the interface of the, for the presenter to objective C. So I'll look at that interface in just a moment, but that's what's going on here. It's taking that reference, that optional reference to the presenter and referencing button pressed when we press that button. Set up constraints, set up the table view, and here, we're using the menu presenter 
and then we have the, the data from the menu presenter and here we're using the data again from the menu presenter so we can have a look at menu presenter itself a menu presenter here has sorry here it conforms to the protocol menu presenter protocol which has some data which is get so it can't be set so the presenter itself is responsible for its own data this is the function which is kicked off when the button is pressed and the whole protocol here is um, exposed to objective C which means that this function can be used in the action for the UI button and of course this is a protocol which means our concrete implementation here conforms to that protocol and here you've got your button pressed which is exposed to objective C so when I press the button it logs to the console button pressed Probably more interesting than that is the initializer, which just takes the coordinator and keeps a reference to it because we need to have that for when we're showing the detail screen and the reference to the view. So if we look at the detail presenter, we're going to see a very similar picture. Oh, of course, for both of these, we have a, a weak link to the detail view controller to make or the uh, menu view controller to make sure there's not a retain cycle this is very similar to the other class that i've just shown and that's pretty much it for mvp for a very very simple implementation it's something to build on and please 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 feel free to look at the code on the repo take it do whatever you want well, that's a bit of a whirlwind tour. I hope this has worked out as an example for you and you'll be able to use MVP in the future if you so choose.